NASA is launching highly resilient alien bacteria into the stratosphere for the total solar eclipse that divides the nation along the 33rd degree parallel. This is not an exaggeration. This bacteria was discovered several decades ago, and it has been classified as a completely new species. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the name of it. I will show it to you here uh, at theverge.com. The bacteria that will fly to the edge of space is a particular strain called I'm not even going to say it. You can see it right there. It's highlighted. It was first isolated from soil outside a spacecraft assembly facility at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida in 1973. These bacteria form shields of spores that allow them to survive even when conditions turn deadly. It takes about 140 hours at 257 degrees Fahrenheit to kill 90% of these bacteria. This is from an astrobiologist. Now, what's interesting about this is they're launching this all across the 33rd degree parallel. There's over 50 balloons that are involved in this experiment, and they put this bacteria on what looks like dog tags. You can see right here. It's a small metal card called a coupon that's transporting this bacteria. Somebody left a comment on the Leak Project channel or the YouTube.com slash Clandestine Time Lord. That's our YouTube channel for Leak Project. They said... What if they're doing something to cause a pandemic? Think about all the people that are going to be watching the solar eclipse from around the world. It's a very peculiar time. Yeah, it could just be tests, guys. It absolutely could. Let's hope that that's what they're doing. Let's hope that there's no side effects like in the movie Life that came out earlier this year. Excellent film, by the way. You should definitely watch it, where they find a single cell of bacteria that ends up taking over the entire crew and makes it to Earth within a matter of a few weeks it becomes that powerful. Now this is the actual bacteria that they are sending into space. Some of this stuff is even patented. It's very bizarre. It looks kind of like what was on the uh, the film a little bit. Here is the, okay, so the 29 teams that are participating each have their own bit of the same bacteria they will be attaching to their payloads and the NASA MS team, Ames team, will examine the bacteria after the launches have been retrieved. So what if this activates the bacteria and turns it into a deadly bacteria, a full-on pandemic that wipes out a huge swath of the population? I mean, do they really know what they're doing by launching this stuff into the atmosphere? Could that not mutate and then become highly toxic and highly contagious? And it's across the entire country with people from around the world here right now. Is this an induced pandemic? Read about it at theverge.com. You can read more about it also at nasa.gov. Sputniknews.com as well. And then you can actually read about the, the white paper specifically if you go to International Journal at Systematic Bacteriology, April 1977. This discusses the bacteria that was discovered as well. What are your thoughts on this, you guys? Is this just another day of NASA's paradise? The machine that just keeps on turning and sharing with us rover images and video footage from Devon Island saying it's from Mars, laughing the whole time? Well, hey, it's the new New World Order where they love us so much. I'm on my way to the eclipse here shortly. I will do my best to share that with you live. Thank you for being here with me and be the change you want to see.